If there is a bullous retinal detachment, subretinal fluid drainage may be followed by collapse of the eye. The profound resulting hypotony puts the eye at risk of severe intraocular bleeding and pupil meiosis. If the eye starts to go very soft, you should avoid further manipulation and reform the globe. While it is possible to do this with saline in the presence of smaller retinal breaks, the injected fluid will quickly leave the eye if there are large breaks which offer little resistance to fluid egress and the hypotony will recur. In this situation, the globe may be reformed by an air bubble whose surface tension will prevent its passage through the break. Put on an indirect ophthalmoscope and sit down on the temporal side of the patient. Place a 30 gauge needle on a syringe. Measure 3.5 millimeters in a non-phagic or 4 millimeters in a phagic eye from the limbus nasally.